Hey Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is your monthly energy reading for Virgos who are dealing with another Virgo. So Virgos, this is what we got. You guys could be dealing, you guys could be fighting with this person a lot. Like you guys could be maybe in a marriage, a commitment. You guys could potentially be living with each other. Nonetheless, it's bringing a lot of negativity into your life and it's only, and it's also bringing a lot of negativity into your home as well. You guys could have been married to this person, uh, Virgo living, okay? So this, they're fighting, you guys are fighting a lot in your home. Like, I mean, it's just a lot of fighting, okay? Nonetheless, this person that you guys are dealing with, this Virgo that you guys are dealing with, they might have a... Uh, a Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, and they can also have a Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising as well in their chart, okay? Nonetheless, they are going to be coming towards you to give you bad news. I don't know what the bad news is because I didn't clarify it. Nonetheless, we got the King of Pentacles. It's going to leave you here very, very ungrounded, Virgos. Take it as it resonates. It could be switched up, you know, do what you got to do with the reading. So maybe you're going to end up not being able to go to work. It's going to mess up your money a little bit. It's going to make you feel like you're not grounded. Uh, not stable financially. Maybe you're not going to be able to go to work for a little while just because of the situation that's going on in in your life. It's going to be very, very chaotic, you know, and it, it's just going to make you guys feel so stressed out that you're not going to be able to think about anything else except for this situation that you guys are dealing with, okay? <sighs> Coming in with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like, pardon me, I feel like maybe this person like before all the fighting had even happened, maybe this person was giving to way too many people. Maybe they were giving their money away. Maybe they were doing stuff that they shouldn't have been doing. Uh, Virgos, you see how they're giving to one person but not the other? Yeah, that's because they're giving to somebody else and not giving enough to you. Nonetheless, I don't think you're going to want to be giving anything to this person anymore, Virgo, someone rising in Venus. And, like, I mean, this is Virgo energy. Like, this is a Virgo who's giving to other people for what I don't know. Don't they know? Don't them don't like don't them Virgos know that the Virgos are the bestest? <laughs> How dare they? Okay, they fucked up, Virgos. Okay, so coming with the Six of Pentacles here, uh, you don't want to be giving to anybody or even this situation anymore. I think you're ready to move on, and um, I th or well, it's coming in with the Chariot in reverse. Okay, I don't know if you're gonna be able to move on from the situation. But nonetheless, this person is going to probably try and come back to you and be like, okay, I don't want to give to other things. I want to give to you. And they're not going to be able to move on from you because they know exactly who you are to them, right? If you, especially if you guys were living with them in a commitment, whatever the case is. Um, coming down here with the Eight of Swords, this situation has, you guys are probably crying a little bit as well, Virgos. I mean, it's, it's causing you so much, it's pissing you off about how the situation got handled. Um... Not only that, you guys are having sleepless nights, anxiety. You guys feel trapped. You guys don't feel like you know what it is, exactly it is that you want to do. Pardon me. Um, nonetheless, you are coming out of it. Just uh, take the time to be good to yourselves and, and treat yourselves well, okay? Um, I really think the situation could maybe in by the end of September, this situation could probably be over. Virgos, okay? And the reason why I'm saying that is because there's a Queen of Wands here. Who is this person? Who is this? Who is this Queen of Wands? Who feels like they can do whatever the fuck they want, say whatever they want. Nonetheless, this is somebody who's going to, they're ending the situation with you, and they're going to be running off to a karmic. And I'm telling you, the, like, the bottom of the deck, we got justice. This person, for the fact that this person decided to fight with you, Virgos, and bring chaos into your home, and give to other people, and cause you so much anguish and tra entrapment, and making you feel like, what the fuck, not able to go to work properly because this person is on your mind all day, every day, trying to figure out, like, what the fuck had happened. Virgos, this person's going to go to a Queen of Wands, and this Queen of Wands is not a nice person at all. I mean, this person, your Virgo thinks that they're going to be walking into something nice, but nonetheless, they're not. They're going to be walking into their fucking karma. Yeah, you treated them good, Virgos. Well, then you know what? God's going to hand them somebody who's going to be able to destroy them. Pretty much, uh, Virgo, someone rising in Venus. I'm not even playing. This woman, she's mean. She's horrible. She manipulates energies. She manipulates people. She does what it is that she wants to do. She doesn't give a fuck about nobody's feelings. You sat there caring about your Virgo's feelings for a damn how long, right? Now, this person, this, this person's gonna dead off the situation with you, and they're gonna go straight into this Queen of Wands arms and this queen of wands is going to be the one to cheat on your person they're going to take they're going to end up taking their money they're going to end up taking their home 
They're going to manipulate the situation, probably gas them, okay? Coming in with a justice card, this person deserves it. This is their karma for how they treated you, Virgos. Because you guys were a soulmate connection, all right? And they weren't using their intuition, and they quickly and abruptly put themselves in a queen, uh, like, sorry, king of swords position where they became very cold and very detached, okay? They could also have a black vehicle, Virgos, uh, coming in with the knight of pentacles. This is very slow movement, moving energy. I don't know. And I feel like the person here is going to end up eventually being very, very regretful on the decision that they ended up making. And you're going to win in the situation. And you're going to get, and you're going to put teamwork for yourself or sorry, not teamwork, you're going to know that this per that you were the one doing all the work in the situation while this fire sign, this queen of wands was in the picture, you know, and look how, oh my god, the king of swords and this guy here, they look the exact same, oh no, Virgos, that lets me know that this is the queen of wands and this is the per your person who decided to, the Virgo who decided to be cold and detached, that's them knowing that you're sitting there doing all the work in the relationship. Meanwhile, this Queen of Wands knows. This Queen of Wands. If you think that this Queen of Wands doesn't know about you, Virgos, she knows about you. She knows damn well, very well, who the fuck you are. I don't trust her at all because I don't know what her intentions are. Maybe some of you guys are Hebrew, okay? Um, I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, you're going to be, someone's going to hear, going to be very, very stressed out. And not only are they going to be stressed out, you're eventually, you're going to come into the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to be single Virgo, someone rising in Venus, or Virgo, um, Virgo, what? <laughs> you guys are going to be single, you're going to, you're going to, money's going to be right, your clothes are going to be nice, you guys are going to go shopping, you guys are going to start taking better care of yourselves, you're going to go get your hair done, Virgos, you're going to go buy the nicest makeup, you know, maybe you got to go buy yourself a bird, because birds are so cute and fluffy and beautiful, and then you're coming in as the empress, you guys are going to be fine, not only that, you guys could maybe eventually end up getting pregnant later on in the future by somebody else, it doesn't show me anybody, but I mean, at the end of the day, you guys are going to be fine and safe, Virgos, you, you can't, you cannot put a queen of wands to an empress, so this person feels like, okay, I'm going to leave the Empress and my soulmate to go be with the Queen of Wands. So he's leaving, this person, he or she is going to be leaving for somebody who's pretty much going to be the absolute opposite of you. So yeah, you're sitting there loving and caring for this person, and then they end up with somebody who's not going to give a shit about them at all. And not only that, they're not gonna even going to notice, and they're not going to even see that this Queen of Wands is such a bad person. I mean... This Queen of Wands is going to want their money. They're going to want their weed. They're going to want their alcohol. They're going to want whatever they can get from your Virgo. They're going to do it. And they're going to take it all. Not only that, this person will probably eventually start driving their car around, doing the whole nine. If, if, if this Queen of Wands has her own car, she's not going to use her car. She'll start using the Virgo's car because she's not going to want to spend their money, her money on gas or his money on gas. Very, very deceiving and manipulative energy, but it's not your problem, Virgos. You guys are sitting beautifully in the Empress and the in the pre-Empress, okay? So just know, maybe you guys are also a mother. Nonetheless, you guys are the best and at a very high vibration. So I suggest that you guys do the best you can to heal yourself from the King of Pentacles and uh, get out of the situation with the Eight of Swords here, okay? Get out of that, Virgos. Take your time. Heal from the situation. Do the best you can. Because I need you guys to remember who the fuck you guys are. You guys are the Nine of Pentacles pre-Empress. And then eventually you guys are going to be the Empress. No one is better than you, Virgos. Thanks. Bye.